starve. I'd be called an unfit mother if I didn't attempt force feeding. <laughs> I haven't seen him that excited since Lucian's first nosebleed. <gasps> it was only a drop. Something is very wrong in my universe today. Loathsome blood sucker. Hi, Mari. Oh, hi. Nice beads, Mari. Are they new? Not exactly. My mom gave them to me. Well, um, you look nice. They suit you. Thanks. So can we meet at the mall then? Okay, sure. <gasps> but Mari... You're mall-phobic. It could be dangerous. Don't worry. I'll survive. Does not compute. Does not compute. Nothing fits. Help! <laughs> Hello, Miss Hissy. I've had a big shock. May I go home? No. Sit yourself down. And that goes for the rest of you lumps of preteen pustules. <laughs> <laughs> You smell. Uh, well, some things just don't change. Today has been real strange, Tony. Something's happening around here. I don't know what. But it's big and it's powerful. <gasps> and it all started outside those new houses on Airfresh Avenue. Follow that truck! It doesn't look like much, but this street is hiding something. <laughs> Holy smoke, Tony! I think it's the posts! Are you sure you're okay with this? Sure, if it's for science. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gone white. That's amazing. Help me. I'm moving. To the scrapyard. But how can fences make cars crash? It is fiendishly simple, Tony. Those posts are fractionally too close together. If you go past them real quick, they start to flash and strobe. That's why you went blind back there. You wouldn't notice walking, but in a car, kaboom! And you think it's been done on purpose? I'm sure of it. Nothing happens by chance in this town. But who would do such a thing? Well, at first I thought Wayne, but that was paranoia. Optical terrorism is way beyond him for the moment. Then I asked myself, who else takes an unseemly delight in multi-car pileups? Dirty Joe Muldoon. Look at all this stuff. He'll be rich if this keeps up. He's the only one to profit from all this carnage. That oil costs money. What oil? <laughs> that oil. Pay up or leave. We're here to see Joe. He's not here, he's gone! He's dead? No, he's gone to visit his special friends. Up there, I'm in charge. I don't get it. Wayne thinks Dirty Joe goes into space to make scrap deals with aliens. Oh. He does! I've seen it! Don't play games. We just saw his cart. You might have seen his cart, but you didn't see him! Just let him know that we know. And that we're gonna tell! Yeah! Looks like Dirty Joe really is gone. If not him, then who? This is getting out of control, Tony. Come on. I'm taking this to the highest level. To the seat of government itself. Would that be a traffic, highway, nuisance, parks and garden, or a health and safety matter, sir? All of them. Best start here, and just keep on going. I know the drill.
any luck. Oh, not a nibble. That's a shame. I'm sorry. Give me your notes. I'll try and find somewhere for them. Why, thank you, Clerk John. I was beginning to lose faith in the whole democratic system. You seem awfully familiar. Have we met before? Are those new glasses? Yes. How'd you know? Just a guess. Thank you. Thank you very much. They are so crazy. Oh, oh, I like them. these. Ah, yeah. here you go. Oh, oh, Hello, Lucian. Not you too. No. I can see quite clearly, thank you. Is Mari around? One moment. Uh, she's out back helping her mom. Just pop around. Thank you. Now it all makes sense. Hi, Lucian. What makes sense? The new look. The sudden interest in shopping. The makeup. <gasps> it's lip balm. What are you getting at, Lucian? I mean, I know what's going on, Mari. I know about the fences. I can't believe I didn't see this before. Your dad's an optician, right? Who else would think this up? You're scaring me. Think what up? <laughs> His master plan to drum up new business. And as for you, cashing in on the action, I'm shocked. It's only pocket money. I can't see the harm in a little adornment. The harm? The harm, you say? It's dangerous. Dangerous? Why? Why can't you be happy for me, Lucian? Now that everyone's wearing glasses, I feel right for once. I feel pretty. What's wrong with that? I'm going now. I hope your conscience catches up with you before the police do. Bye, Lucian. Say a big hello to your folks for me. Hey, Tony, read up. Hi, Lucian. What have you got there? Oh, these are Mom's herbal car crash remedies. Gotta go. The customer's waiting. Hey, two, Tony? Hello, parent people. Hello, dear. <gasps> Howdy, son. <gasps> Got a friend at the door. Shall I let him in? I haven't got any friends. I'll send him away. Who is it? I don't know, dear. I couldn't see. Hi. Good news, Lucian. I think I've gotten to the bottom of that fence trouble. Well, I know all about it. I don't want to press any charges or anything. They're just misguided, money-hungry fools. Can we not deal with this another way? <clears throat> well, here's what I found. You know, I thought your face was familiar. Well, I went to look up your file, and I found this. And? Here's a complaint form you filled out two years ago. Reference 3166 regarding the spacing of fence posts stating that children were in danger of getting trapped in them. Well, your submission was upheld by a majority ruling and became Rule 3166 amended to the Homes and Gardens Planning Act. All new buildings work from that date has been up to code. And the posts were moved closer together? Two and one quarter inches to be exact. Just as you suggested. Congratulations. Thanks. While I'm here, I am required to give you this. It's a littering violation order. You've got one week to remove them. Sorry. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!